Parental discretion is advised. ShopWWEShop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 297. I'm Sorg here in Planet Mayhem. Chachi's on the couch. Chachi's on the couch. He's uh he's uh playing with uh, Siri. So he's preoccupied with Siri right now. So we're just gonna let him go for a little bit. But uh, he's trying. <laughs> he's not trying to take over the world. But with me, the uh, our 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 crew she said this weekend. No comment. No comment? <laughs> The bitch is taking over the world. The bitch is taking over the world. Okay. Uh, from uh, San Antonio, Texas, where they don't have grocery stores. Stuff. The Wrestle yeah. Fan. How you doing? We don't have liquor, apparently. What were you looking uh, for? Oh, eggnog. They don't have. They don't believe in eggnog in uh, Texas. So there, Southern Comfort actually. eggnog isn't. Uh, it's non alcoholic. Yeah. Well, don't tell them that. Uh, yes, I am here, Wrestling Man Show. <laughs> I am here, and it's a great night because it's a night of mayhem. So let's get it on the ball. Let's get rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling right over to DJ Lunchbox. How you doing? What's up, hot dog? I am all over the balls. I am rubbing on them. I am happy to be on the balls. And uh, you, you remember the way dodgeballs smell in uh, high school? Yeah. Uh, and mm. uh, I smell just like that right now and uh i hope that gives you as big of an erection as it gives me all right and also coming at us the the master of the ritzel balls the riz oh i bet he is speaking of balls funny intro here (laughs) (laughs) and also who doesn't have to write down his intros the hot wheels has joined us again how you doing hey i'm doing fine i'm not on balls but i am on wheels (laughs) <laughs> but my wheels smell like his balls, so hey, we're working together tonight. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait, 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 wow, wait, 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 wait. It's got weird. Why, why do here. your wheels smell like balls? Because they're made of rubber. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Uh, and of course, I'm Sorg, and you have stumbled on the Wrestling Mayhem Show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Twitter us at Mayhem Show. Also, you can drop us lines at Good, Good Time. time. <laughs> At WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS09670. Hey, we got stickers. Joshy, you got the stickers I over there. Uh, there I am. There's, yeah. Hey, look. I got stickers. Oh, there he is. Sticker. He's got the stickers. There you and go. And a blank one. And nothing, a blank one. Nothing, nothing on that piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> but if you want stickers, hey, send them to WF Stickers. Care of Sorgatron Media, 1535 Velasco <laughs> Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15216. Send them the self-addressed stamped envelope so we can send you stickers and you can stick your friends. You know what I did today? What did you do today? I woke up this morning. I'm like, you know what, Josh? How can we make this the greatest day of your... He calls himself Josh. I do. I do. Third person. <laughs> it I, sounds I, like crotch. Shut <laughs> your whore mouth. There. See? We couldn't even make it ten minutes without me yelling at you. I'm sorry. That, that is your fault. You brought that on yourself. Now, don't step on me during my intro again. <laughs> so, I woke okay. up this morning... <laughs> oh, I thought you were, I thought you were going to change it off of me just to piss me off. No, <laughs> not really. So I woke up this morning. I'm like, you know what, Josh? What can we do to make this the greatest day of your professional career? And you said? And so I thought about it. I, I got out of bed, took a shower, went and got some coffee, standing in the kitchen drinking some coffee. And you know what I said? I said, say? I'm going to go beat Bob Backlund in seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just to piss off Kevin Nash. So you know what I did today? I called Bob ba- Backlund. I said, Bob Bobby. I said, it's Bobby. Mr. Bob Backlund. No, I call him Bobby. See you. <laughs> no, we're on this. We're we're cool. We're tight. I, I call him Bobby. I'm like, hey, Bobby. I'm like, uh, I'm going to need you to get in the ring. And he tried fighting it because, you know, he's all retired and stuff. But I got him into the ring. And you know what I did? I beat him in six seconds. There you go. I can do it in five. Now he's in ER because I broke his hip. Oh, they canceled ER. 
Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's true. That is true. He, he's not That's wrong. Sad. He's not wrong. Hey, you can also, hey, we're, this show is on, uh, of course, iTunes, Blip TV, YouTube. Please rate us, star us, whatever that mechanism sure. is to tell people about us. Circle and there's also an app. app. There, yeah, circle us. Circle uh, us. There's also an app that the guys are it holding up behind me. Look time. at that. It works this time. Do you That's like good. us? That's good. It this works. Is the first time it's actually showed the actual app. It's on the Not iPhone, loading. as the Riz has there, a fancy pants new iPhone. It's on the, holy shit, it's a giant one over there. Uh, Wheels is holding up. It's the, so uh, big. Oh, Wheels, I talked about you on my blog today in that little tab of yours. Uh, so, ah. Yes. Um, and, yo, hey, it's $1.99. Go check it out. Support the show. That's one of the Look main at ways. It. And, of course, we got the, uh, the Mayhem Wear shop over at Spreadshirt.com. Just look up the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You'll find all our stuff there. I was going to wear one today, but I forgot to. Um, you can get a shirt with a picture of me Hey, on you uh, throw a shout out to our friends over at TheWrestlingRevolution.com. Always supporting the show. So I wanted to give them a shout. And uh, anybody else we need to support at the beginning of this show? Uh I support you, know, you. You support me? Yes. Okay. Because we're here every week, and we get this out on time thanks to your tireless efforts. I'm very tired efforts, I know. actually. Um, Shut let's up. go into the fan mails of the week. No, the fan fans, mail. The fan fans mail. don't like us this week. No, dude, dude. We always have low weeks. It's a holiday yeah, you know week. So I'm I'm let's we do it for us. us. Opinionated. We are the fans. This is the fan show. Let's do it for, for the us. Fans by the fans. Nobody here is a wrestler. We had for a wrestler. America. We kicked them off the show. I wrestled. Anyways. <laughs> I beat Bob Backlund in six and seconds now, this yeah, morning. Did you that, not listen to my yeah, story? Is that, that your pink slips in your mailbox? All right, I write, off I the write haikus about wrestling. It's that's true. That's true. He does. My name is yeah, the wrestler. Well, lately, that kind of counts. Shut up! No, no it doesn't. <laughs> wrestle fan, shut your feet in mouth. Wrestle Shut fan, it. I'm on your side. I think it counts. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. A newer version sort of, of Growl is available online. <sighs> Can I just know that, Lowe's, it or that Lunchbox is the only one to not yell at me at the yelling at WrestleFan Facebook uh, group? That's not true. I've Chachi never yelled at you there. Well, you yell at me here. So? <laughs> so yeah, does I he there was group. a battle for the title uh, last night. Yeah, there was a little bit. Um, <laughs> that's what happens in the Hangouts. Over, yeah, hey, yo, we've been doing the Hangouts. We actually did a Hangout during the Survivor Series. It was pretty tremendous. We got a thread up over at the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Google Plus page. Join us on the Google Plus page on Facebook. You don't circle us on Facebook, though, because no. uh, we have a lot of conversation going on there, including what you thought about the Survivor Series. Mad Wank was there. He thought it was pretty good, but the main event sucked. But I'm of wondering. Of course he did. Of course he He's did. been yelling at us for uh, supporting The Rock since the whole thing started. Plus, I'm sure it looked a little flatter in, in person than, than, than for us on TV, too. Um, yeah. A few other comments here. Uh, first of all, there was a there's a little what was there's a little bit of a, a botch uh, with Sin Cara, which we'll get into probably a little, a little bit later. Little bit. Uh, little. Firefly Spike thinks he says he hasn't seen a botch that painful since uh, J Rock's return. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, but uh, penis enhancements. Penis enhancements. Don Papuga is not a fan of Mr. Zack Ryder. So, woo, woo, woo. and she's the only one. It's probably because she's in serious, Baltimore. Serious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't call her bro. Um, yes, she like will destroy watch. you. Don't even understand how his character even relates to Jersey Shore. I made the uh, argument that Jersey Shore is the reason he's popular, but I guess that doesn't really make sense. My bad. Uh, it's the most inaccurate spinoff I've ever seen. I don't think he knows what it. What fist pumping is supposed to look like? Sorry, I guess he's just one of those characters. Oh, uh, Robbie Ichi. What's that? She's not going to like Robbie E, is she? Uh, we don't like Robbie E, so... Nobody <laughs> likes Robbie E or Terry E, which I didn't know existed until recently. Yeah, yeah, there's that. So, no, it's, no, it's Robbie E and Robbie T. There's no Terry E. And uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get into that there in a little <laughs> bit, Mike. Holy Inconsequential. In, yes. Uh, and we do have some fan mails from Pierre Calais. Who's got this oh. one? Oh. Who's got this one? Nobody's got this. Not one. it. I, Nobody's not got it. This one. I have, I have never it. read Pierre Kelly. Why should I start now? I, I will read Pierre <laughs> Kelly. Let's see oh. what we got here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, to the WS Nation. I haven't heard from oh. you guys in a while, but I think he means the other way around. But I just wanted to update. On uh, Rock Cena pairing, it all happened to Rob before Survivor Series when Mr. Bang Bang himself, Mick Foley, was the victim of a rock bomb and People's Champ. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, CM Punk was also at the series with Thinkus Maximus and his, as his personal ring announcer. Really? Really? Yeah. Maybe Lillian Garcia should have made should have made sense had uh, it been a nicer match. Uh, also, what? sexual chocolate Mark Henry committed to the no no with the not shot to Big Show. Also, sexual chocolate was trending on Twitter during that Survivor <laughs> Series. That was tremendous. Trending worldwide. Yes, uh, and they uh, didn't mention that on Twitter. Nope. You on also each Survivor Series. No, they didn't. They should have. Uh, they it looks like uh, he's also he's thankful. Uh, for uh, wanting uh, Zack Ryder to win the U.S. title and Evan Board coming back after suspension, BT Dub and add on Ross speculates that Kane may return next year. Next year was that next year? I didn't get that hey. off of the ad. Technically, really, mm. the, the year's almost over. I guess if they they stretch this out through the rest. Well, there of the, are two the like promo type ads: one for Kane and somebody else. I think. Really? Huh. Yeah. But uh, he says, "Happy Thanksgiving, everyone." PRK, aka Techwood Drive. So tech would drag. Wow, that is light on the email. Are we really going right into the indie minute at this point? Well, we, well, we had to. a voicemail. No, we have a oh, voicemail. wait, we have a voicemail. We do have a voicemail. It kind of bridges to the indie minute, of course, because it is partially about the night of the superstars, which was tremendous this past week. Big Freaky, who I have some uh, presents for you, Chachi, from Big Freaky. Oh, oh God. I'm kind of scared. They're Japanese DVDs. It's okay. It's seven heads. They're, just, they're Japanese DVDs. It's okay. The last time someone said that, I watched The Blue Girl. Oh, it wasn't God. okay. Sorry about that. Man. That was my pick. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Blue Girl. That sounds kind of hot, right? Yeah, you know, Japanese no. DVDs. You yeah. know, The Ring. Yeah, the, the, ring. The, the Ring. The Grudge. Last time someone <laughs> said, here, watch this Japanese DVD. It's fine. So you haven't watched a Japanese DVD for 15 years. I just no, realized, really, I haven't. Someone told me today the ring is kind of into, like it doesn't really matter. You can just put a TV in front of a TV, and then she just kind of goes into her own like uh, whatever. It doesn't have to do with is that. this. Like, what you're learning in college, wrestle fan? Yes. Yep, that's it. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay, the voicemail. Whoa. This is a slightly delirious and somewhat disappointed big freaky. Finally, you on the road. Home from IWC and me, Bill. Sword, good seeing ya. Hope you get the Mayhemers enjoy the DVD. Now, I'll write something about the show. It was a great show, but right now I want to address a complaint. Okay. Oh, he's Jeff angry. Roberts makes a big deal about not being able to deliver the midget wrestler. That was but sad. There was an even bigger star who was not on the show that was advertised. And I am not happy about it. Jimmy D. Former champion. Wait a spoiler, we host The Prime Minister of Perversion. <laughs> the Duke of Debauchery. The Maharaja of Manhood. One Jimmy DeMarco was advertised and not booked on the show. I am disappointed. I wanted to see Jimmy DeMarco corrupt the youth of America. Matt, Mike, I agree with you. By the end of the night, I wanted to see these uh, little screaming brats around me die. What? Whoa. Wow. wow. You know, that took a turn. Like that. Sure did. Them smoking marijuana. He would have gotten them having unprotected sex. He would have had them, you know, smoking tobacco and doing shots of Jim Bean and Jack Daniels. And it would have been just another step and the crumbling of the fabric of America that we did not get because Chuck Roberts delivered a family-friendly show. <laughs> Ooh. Huh. Uh, and and Chachi, there you go. Chachi, no, Chachi, don't worry. You're not going to get a severed head. You're going to get like a dead baby or something, apparently. Yeah, yeah. He's very oh, angry man. about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, very angry. Yeah, I, DeMarco, conspicuous conspicuous by his absence at Night of the Superstars. But really good show otherwise. I think I think it was tremendous. He, he was probably took the midgets out for a party. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he took the midgets out. Uh, it would be something if they were on the same uh, the, the same car in. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're on their way to your house. Uh, Sorg. <laughs> They're all in my house. Yeah. No, we checked on that. They're not the ones that we interviewed. Thank God. Um, <laughs> I don't think he would remember. Sorry. He wasn't in a remembering kind of state when we interviewed him. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. 
Uh, but yeah, the results are over at IWCWrestling.com for Night of the Superstars. Mick Foley was there, of course, uh, as well as Gail Kim, Tracy Brooks, Colt Cabana, um, James <laughs> Chavo Guerrero Jr. Uh, hey, Chavo versus Shima is really Guerrero interesting. She, she, <laughs> Chavo made Shima throw up in the middle of the ring. Oh boy, oh my God. that's just <laughs> disgusting. It was like. It was uh, probably almost a 20 minute match and he was like pretty much working him over and in I just saw blow chunks right in front of me. Uh, yeah. It's intense. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um it, to, to the point where it was still a little bit there and uh and uh, uh Fab and and Mick Foley in the main event were like, yeah, somebody needs to clean that up. Um so <laughs> <laughs> but it was a pretty, it was a really good show, uh, nonetheless. Uh, with all that going on, uh, Meadville Meadville was the nicest place I've ever been for a wrestling show. As in, they gave us all water and and whatever. It was it was great. <laughs> they gave me water. Oh, no, no one's ever come up to me while I'm working my water. ass off, and I'd be like, be like, hey, um, would you like a water? I was like. Yeah, I'd like a water. <laughs> yeah, all but right. Yeah. Yes, master. What is yes, this cold master. liquid hitting my face? What? what? Hmm? Huh? What? I don't know. <laughs> what? Keep going. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but no, uh, check that out. Uh, DVD is going to be fun. Uh, go go, uh, go pick that up over at IWCWrestling.com. I, and I toss uh, it over to the Wrestle fan, even though I think I'm coming back to me. You have oh, 60 good. seconds and go. Not making the 60 seconds. Okay. Well, I'm going to start it off with the AON report from our friend Bobby F. J. Town this Hurry week. Up. Faster. Uh, what up, my nerds? This week on AON, it was oh, the special on. friend of the show, Manchild Week. Manchild was, nice. a guest, get, Manchild was a guest on the show and even brought his ice cream cone with him. They showed two of his best matches. He picked up the win against Bam Bam Hassel in the first match, and he defeated Marcus the Nomad Cage in the second match. This was the match where he was dressed as a Ninja Turtle. Uh, next AON show is on December 3rd at Planet Ice in Johnstown, and that is the AON report for this week. Uh, so we mentioned uh, already on the end of the minute our friends at IWC Wrestling. Uh, I like sorry mentioned a great show in Meadville. Um, definitely, if you hey, want to go support. Right. I'm sorry. You got it right. Yeah, Meadville, that place. Uh, go to iwcwrestling.com to go check them out um, for more information on them. I will not be censored. Turn me up. Nope. Turn nope. me up. Nope. This isn't your minute. I then- will not be censored. <laughs> go ahead, Van. <laughs> the next company I want to talk about is a company WSU Women Superstars and Censor. They had their big eye pay per view this past weekend. Breaking Barriers 2, which was a big event. Break the mic. Is everybody muted now? What's going on? It's all quiet. I'm talking. That, that's him. It's just you. I'll be I'm fixing you. It's my segment. Uh, WSU pay-per-view. <laughs> uh, the Midwest Militia winning in the main event against Team WSU in a War Games match, which I was told was absolutely insane and crazy. Uh, the pay-per-view also saw the um, first in-ring match since the uh, WWE departure of Molina. Um, so the pay per view you can still watch at GoFightLive.tv. They are still streaming the or they are still uh, have the event on demand. If you want to go check that out, I would definitely recommend it. It's sounding like an amazing show. So go check Women Superstars and Censored out uh, and show um, them a little support. Uh, the next thing I want to show is actually something I, I see that Sorg uh, <laughs> is posting about. Um, Chikara came out with a brand new uh, mobile app for your iPhones and your iPads. Hold on, um, I'll bring it up here too. Uh, I actually bought it. Yeah, <laughs> entitled Color Tunes, which is the yes, it's the uh, official Chikara mobile app, just ninety nine cents. It has every uh, everything from uh, you can pick from the four, fourteen different stars from Chikara. Um, it's like it's in a way, it's sort of like a, a mobile coloring book almost. I see, like there's. There's photos, but there's also like cartoonish uh, depictions of the characters that you can color and uh, um, edit in certain ways. Um, there's a lot of cool different stuff, uh, like videos and all other exclusive stuff uh, for them. If you want to go check it out, it's in your app, soon, app store, I should say. Uh, it's the Color Tunes Chikara mobile app. Um, go check that out. and yeah, uh, go. It's, it's only $0.99, cents and... Uh... It's uh, it's pretty cool for the ninety nine cents. Uh, and you go in, and it gives you uh stats for and videos and photos for all the uh 
the wrestlers featured in them. Like, there's Fire Ant right there. Um, it also uh, plays some awesome uh, Chikara music in the background while you're going. So, very cool. I know it is on all of the. Uh, Sorry. Like that, yeah. All yeah. the i devices. I'm not. I don't believe it is on Android yet. It, but, is, um, it is iPad. It is universal, so it's iPad compatible. Yeah. So, I, so I, I, um, I was actually playing with it on the iPad before. So very cool. Go check them out. Um, and go download the app. And the final note that I want to make here in the Indie Minute is for those in the Texas area. I hope there are some because that includes people like me. Um, <laughs> what? Texas sucks. You suck. Um, first, uh, about uh, River City Wrestling, a couple matches have come uh, to being emerged for their next event, the Event 2, um, including uh, a six-man tag team match that will be... Uh, Spectre teaming up with the Dark Army of Nemesis and Morte to take on the team of Steve McEnroe, um, the RCW debut of El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr., as well as TNA star Hernandez in a six-man tag match. So that's definitely going to be great. And also, sadly, um, this uh, big feud that's been building is going to come to an end one way or another. Um, the new RCW international champion, Rick David, defends against El Mamacito Andromeda in a career versus title match, meaning if Andromeda sadly loses that match, she loses his horror career in River City Wrestling. So that's Did you just uh, say his horror career? I said his her. Yeah, he said horror. He said, I said horror. Her, her. I would never say anything about him hit it. Ah! You, it's You so said horror. horror. I heard it. So did Riz. You said horror. <laughs> Uh, so go one, go check that out. I will be at that event. It's uh, December tenth at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, sixteen thirty Goliad Road in San Ant- in downtown San Antonio. Go check them out. And then I'm also going to an, another indie event that I want to just briefly mention. The next night, Saturday or Sunday, December eleventh in Austin, Texas. Um, it'll be for Anarchy Championship Wrestling, which is a group that's been around for a good while now. Um, it's definitely going to be a, a very interesting event over at Mohawks in Austin, Texas. Uh, the main event already announced as um, the, ret- the uh, ACW return of Robert Evans, who is also known by his different personalities as R.D. Evans in Ring of Honor or Ultra, Ultra Bold Peck in Chikara. Uh, he will be going one-on-one with El Generico, so that is definitely going to be a very interesting match. Um, definitely uh, something I want to see, to say the least. Um, another match <laughs> another match that they just came out with that I'm very interested in. Um, it will be a six-woman cha- uh, women's championship ladder match um, featuring six stars, including uh, some top names like uh, Portia, Portia Perez, Rachel Summerlin, as well as others. Another thing announced is a, a family Christmas death match, which will be... Um, <laughs> A death match involving all things uh, merry and jolly about Christmas. So I'm going to be very interesting to see what that's about. Uh, I'm going to judge the, you uh, in Christmas uh, lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, December 11th uh, at Mohawks in uh, 912 Red River Street in Austin, Texas. Go check them out. Tickets are on sale at um, acwwrestling.com. Go check them out, and hopefully I will see you there. And that is the Indie Minute for this week. And this, whoops, wrong one. And this is my rendition of Fire Ant. Thank you, Wrestle Fan. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and uh, we'll be right back with this little look at WMS Gold Mayhem. And, and maple sausage and ran off with it. Of course, raccoons like bacon. What an asshole. And then he, like, you know, he he, he was maybe 20 feet from my tent, but he was, like, in the in the brush. <laughs> I've, seen, talking I've about seen a lot of episodes now. of Good Eats, and he never puts his dick in the turkey. <laughs> <even> <laughs> just an idiot, so. since, since we're talking about turkeys now, do you, you everyone knows who Epic Meal Time is, right? Oh, no. uh, Wrestle fans. Oh, yeah, right, let's fucking thing. make it hot. Let's fucking oh, do it. Let's do goddamn put our dicks we? in the mouths and ears of our listeners. Let's fucking do it. Oh, baby, motherfucker, baby. Matt Mike here, recording live from fucking Survivor Series. Ryder got a huge pop tonight. Rock got a bigger pop. But, um, yeah, Team Bear is coming out right now. I don't know if anyone can hear this, but the show's been pretty good so far. And, um, 
Woo woo woo. You all fucking know it. Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Matt Mike. Once again with another minute of mayhem. Now as all of you know, I went to the Survivor Series this past week. I tried to take a video in there. Um, I'm guessing it's a sword. Don't know how well it came out. You can kind of hear what I'm saying. But I figured I'd, you know, drop um, an eyewitness's account of how the show was. And I wanted to get me some uh, broski gear. I did. But I showed up a little late and all the Zack Ryder stuff was sold out. And all the Miz stuff was sold out. All the CM Punk stuff was sold out. The only thing that was left was John Cena merch. And I didn't really want the uh, Rise Above Hate shirt. But I did buy something that was rather interesting. This little dealie. It's to listen to the commentary live during Survivor Series. I think they started that at SummerSlam. And to be honest, it was pretty, pretty cool experience. I mean, it was definitely... It, may, it only enhanced the live viewing of the product. And I got to hear, oh, I'll show you a nugget, quack, quack, and, you know, all that stuff. And that was great. And we actually got to hear the backstage segments. Well, at least I did. Which was nice, because usually in live arenas, especially one as loud as the garden was this weekend, you don't get to hear stuff like that. Um, but as far as the show goes, the crowd was the loudest crowd I've ever heard, and I've been through WrestleMania 20. Um, they obviously popped huge for The Rock, even though the main event sucked. I don't care what anyone says. It was Cena selling for 15 minutes, Rock doing anything, five moves, and the show was over. Fine, whatever. If that's what you wanted, that's what then, then you enjoyed it, good for you. I didn't. I thought it sucked. Um, five on five match was really good very awesome. I love that Barrett actually got the clean win over Randy Orton. Very nice. Um, and the rider chants were huge. Huge of the garden. He should have won the belt there. It would have blown the roof off the place. And of course CM Punk doing the garden leap was the greatest thing of all time. So until then, take care, spike your hair, and be thankful that you get to listen to a minute of Mayhem. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Russell fan here, and it's now time for a little segment that we like to call "Remember When." So, Survivor Series was last Sunday, and you know that happened, and the whole John Cena and The Rock thing, never before, never again stuff. Uh, it was interesting. It was you know whatever, um, but I I was I was. Listening to something. Well, not listening. What am I saying? Um, I saw an interview that um, J- from JR um, who made a very interesting point that I think I wanted to point out and wanted to um, kind of be made known. Uh, talking about how the young talent in the WWE needs to be more aggressive. They need to uh, – basically, if they want to get the top spots – he mentioned a lot about the, um, the Punk Ziggler match that was pa- this past Monday on Raw – um, mentioned that they need to get more aggressive, and you know, the young, if the young guys really want to step up, that's what they need to do. And I thought about that, and I agree with him. I thought, you know, yeah, he makes a good point. I want, and I try to think, what is a time where that, you know, can there can be an example of that? And I think back to uh, around, I believe it was July or, may, or maybe June of uh, 2002, where we saw a young. A uh, very young uh, John Cena emerged onto the scene. He wasn't he wasn't a rapper. He wasn't wearing jorts or camo shorts or whatever he's wearing now. Um, he was very generic, uh, you know, and with you know wrestling tights and all that stuff. But he um, you know came in very hot. Um, I, I believe he picked up wins Whoa. over guys like Kurt Angle, guys like Chris Jericho, and he was go- the reason. They were building John Cena, and the way they were building John Cena, I wanted to say, is they're going behind this whole thing that they had emer- they had brought up um, at that time called ruthless aggression. Does anyone remember that? Yep. Yep. Eric Bischoff, yeah. ruthless aggression uh, era, 
And because that's one of the things I think of, if you want to think of being more aggressive, that if you want to prove how that works, look at John Cena. John Cena is now the top star of the company, and that's you know where he came from. He wasn't, he wasn't you know pussyfooting around. He wasn't just gonna you know try to play it safe and then maybe you know get something out there so the fans will like him. He came out hot, and he you know he wasn't gonna back down from anything, and just kept. You know, okay. Uh, he kept trying to get himself out there. Um, so, and if I look now at the WWE, and we mentioned about the youth movement a lot, and why you know, oh well, we don't want to see the John Cena's in that anymore. Um, I look at guys like Sheamus. I look at guys like Wade Barrett, especially after what we saw at Survivor Series. Uh, guys like Ziggler, who definitely show that aggression, that show that drive, that they're not going to, you know, they're not going to play it safe and just, you know, hang in the back and see if they get noticed. They're going to, you know, work their ass off and, you know, try to make the best out of everything. Even one guys like Cody Rhodes. If you want to look at John Cena's case, the one, the best moments where we saw John Cena was he was always put up with someone that gave him that aggression. Whether it was the stuff he did with Edge or the stuff he was doing with CM Punk recently. Um, or, you know, there's countless names that you can throw in there. Um, you could even say the stuff with Barrett and the Nexus. Um, the moments where we felt that Cena was getting stale and all that was when he was with the guys like Triple H and Batista and the guys that re- he had wrestled and Brandy Orton you know, for countless among countless times, and it was more just following a formula. It, the the whole the, if you want to get somewhere in WWE, you need to show something. You need to be aggressive and show that you're here to stay. And you know, I think there's a lot of stars that can definitely prove that. And I think you know that's one of the examples I think about is um, a young John Cena. You know, almost ten years ago, and now look at what he's become. So I disagree. Okay. No, no, I, I have a legitimate thought. I, if you're going to compare anyone that's uh, make trying to make a name for themselves right now to John Cena in the way that John Cena did things when he was coming in, <laughs> yeah, I, I rearranged when you banned yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, I noticed. Um, but uh, here, I'll fix it. <laughs> right, there, we, <laughs> there we go. But um, n- no, uh, I think it would actually be Zack Ryder. I think Zack Ryder's doing things the way John Cena did more so than anyone else that's in WWE right now. That's a good point. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you think about it, John Cena came out with uh, B Squared and he would battle well, rap I'm, everyone and the crowd loved it. And um, no, he yeah, was that, really. Well, he was the really, crowd didn't love it when he would battle rap people. No. <laughs> the kids would love it. It was a big steaming pile of shit. Will you shut up and let me people. finish? <laughs> He's got, a point. Hey. He's got a point. It was something different. Yes. Who else it did was. something like that? I mean, it, it was legitimate for whatever you thought of his. But when I'm talking about ability. that, I was talking. I was talking more about before the whole rapper gimmick. Mm-hmm. Before when he was just John Cena, even like when he was, I guess, going into his prototype, you know, uh, gimmick. He if you stuck could say. out. He stuck out. I don't know. I don't know about the prototype thing. I, I haven't seen enough of that to really be worthwhile. But yeah, he stuck out and he developed something that was different. That was legitimately different. Which is exactly what Zack Ryder is doing. That's what Zack Ryder is doing. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. doing right now. He's creating a character that's, you know, at least, you know, L.I. guys, you know, you, you he, know that whole thing. And he's like, he's accentuating it. Right. You know? So, I mean. And it, one thing I know noticed, um, what what the WrestleFan was saying about uh, Dolph Ziggler is how he's now doing two matches as pay-per-view. Yeah. To get his name out there. Yeah. yeah and he's yeah. being that more aggressive yeah but but, and also because that he's been aggressive for so long wwe now has the confidence in him to say hey you can go out and do double duty Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and you there's been there's been inklings of uh of uh them having confidence in dolph ziggler before i mean they did give him the world title for like a minute so uh i i I know you you, you kind of laugh that oh they didn't really give him a chance but no no I think but, that is them giving it a chance right no something like that it, them doing that is pretty much saying oh well this guy's going to be sticking around for a while so let's give him this little bit of yeah nudge so I mean yeah, as you, a thank you. you you get this 
you, you get this joke of a title reign now, mm-hmm. you and get you, 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 you help us out, and we'll, we'll get you back later. <laughs> Let's see how yeah. that title looks and, around and, your waist. Just like with Kane. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like exactly. with Kane. The point I want to make is, you know, ten years from now, you know, John Cena is the face of a company. Yeah, yeah. Wait ten for those that complain about the whole oh we're having seen in the rock thing. Wait ten years about they, about any argument you can have about John Cena. I'm sorry, <laughs> step on you there. Uh, any any argument you can have about John Cena, you know, oh he's not good at this this. No, he's worked his damn ass off and he get he deserves everything. No, he's I got, agree, but you know. I agree completely. But I'm just saying, if you want to see the younger guys, you know, come up, wait five years, wait ten years because they are going to be the ones dominating exactly. WWE. CM if Punk. They, if they aren't already now. CM Punk's a perfect example of that. How long did it take him? He's been around about five years, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he, he, and he's grown as a character. He needed a little bit of that, and then he had a little bit of give and take. He has some run, runs here with various belts, you know. One name you didn't Sports. mention, Wrestle Fan, was The Miz. Well, yeah, The Miz. But I think Miz has already reached that level. Uh, yeah. That's why I didn't mention CM Punk. I think Punk's also reached that level, too. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of new inductees into that level. Yeah. Um, as of as of roughly a year ago, because uh, I think the Survivor Series is when the Miz won his belt, if I'm not mistaken. And think about this. Miz well, was, he, went a, he went on a Raw. But yeah, Miz was the, the last guy to hold the belt for more than a couple of months, if not weeks, uh, yeah. lately. Yeah. Because because uh, I was I was actually looking at the title runs and it was like Miz <coughs> to WrestleMania and then you've had about at least five switches since. It's yeah. been it's been crazy. It's been it's been very hot potato and I really hope uh, CM Punk's you know the the you know that the hot potato is over comments are are uh, are, are true. Hey, you know? I'm just uh, right now I'm I'm just hoping that when the time comes. Because I mean, yes, I realize that there's you could say that there are more than one, but as of right now, it appears as if the WWE only has one current torchbearer. Okay. So I hope that when the time comes, that torch doesn't get confiscated and held by one person anymore. Like I, I think I think the up and comers like. Zack Ryder, like Dolph Ziggler, like Sheamus, mm-hmm. all these new guys that are finally getting a shot. I, I, I'm hoping that instead of just having Dolph Ziggler or Zack Ryder main event every pay-per-view or yeah, yeah. do all and the big you are cool seeing, stuff. You are seeing a good mix of that. Yeah, now, I, I hope John it stays Cena's, that way. I mean, obviously John Cena it was on top as far as the situation with The Rock, but you can argue that <laughs> CM Punk with with uh, Del Rio was still a top thing. Oh. I mean, you're looking at pay-per-views now. I mean, even like a lot of us were going nuts for freaking Mark Henry in the Big Show. I didn't like that much. I, well, a lot of a lot of <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what? Kill you. Me? I, well, at least well, I don't have an opinion, guys. No, Come that's on, that's fine. the whole point no, of it. Let's don't, discuss this. No, 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 but anyways, let me, let me finish <laughs> yeah, my first ahead. point. But you're looking at three <laughs> matches at the top <laughs> of the card that Sorry. you can say any of those people could be representing the company because any of those could have been the main event. Yes, yeah. even Mark Henry and Big Show. No, no, I'm and not. I would have been okay. With that. I, I'm hey, not no, arguing I'm not, that I'm not, fact. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not uh, on your argument or anything. I'm just on the the yeah, force no, no. status. You're right. Um, in fact, the only thing I can agree with Mad Mike on about this pay per view mm-hmm. is that Roxena shouldn't have been the main event. It was a good oh. match. I yeah. enjoyed the match. Okay, on match level, yes. but on spectacle level, it is. It, there was no way that was not going to be the main event. It's, I, I know it's the Rock. I know. Listen, I told this to Mad Mike when he was talking about the Rock thing. If you expected more from that John Cena the Rock match, you had very wishful thinking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I thought it was good for what it was. If you expected I, more, then you're just picky. Exactly, exactly. You you weren't turning into you that done? for great wrestling. Are Go you ahead. done? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I never said that I expected more from that match. No, I'm just saying what Mad Mike said. I I know that match was going to be what that match was. And I don't care if it's The Rock or not. Mm-hmm. If, like, and once again, I'm agreeing with Mad Mike, but if The Rock is only going to take two bumps, mm-hmm. that's not a main event. Like, I know they're pushing the storyline. Mm-hmm. They could have pushed the storyline for that match in any slot on that pay per view. Nah, I don't think so. They could have. 
The, uh, the whole pay per view is built let around me, let me Cena. Let me put this out here to you. Is the main event the match that's supposed to be better, or is the main event the match that more people are tuning in for? In my opinion, I want the best match to be the, no, no, the no. main in, event. In the, well, in in the the okay, else. that's your opinion. That's that's what you want to see. And really, it should be one and the same. Let's right. I, mean, it I think be. we all agree it should be one and the same. But when you're putting together a pay per view and putting it together for the buys and for the money, is it the better match or is it going to be the one that people came for? Can I give an example? Okay. Listen. Bound for Glory, Hogan Sting. Hogan Sting should have been the main event. That was, you know what? And that's somewhat, that's something that they did the opposite way. And I agree with you because I, don't, I think they, they, more they people. The opposite way and I don't think it worked. More people bought that pay-per-view for Sting and Hogan, believe it or not. They didn't buy for Bobby Roode. As much as we want to believe it and all that build up for it, they didn't buy that pay per view for Bobby Roode. Because you talk around in the general populace, they were like, Hogan Sting, yeah, I want to see that again. You know, they haven't been watching and seeing how bad they are. But they're the ones that <laughs> they're the ones that walked in and put money down because they want to see Hogan or, Sting again. Or Listen. there's the people like that say, Oh, it's Hogan Sting and they know how old they are, they're like, What the hell are they gonna do? And yeah, and they're they're tuning in for the curiosity. The Hogan Sting is exactly a Rock Cena tag match situation in that. Uh, if if they're gonna, I think if they're gonna put on Rock Cena for the main event, they should also like. Is that gonna be the main event at WrestleMania if neither of those have a title? Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah, yes. I think so. I think so. It's not the first time. It's, it's not I don't know. I I care way more for the past few WrestleManias about the Undertaker's match, and yeah, you know, we've had this is a discussion we've had in the past. But, care more about the streak than we do about the titles. Mm-hmm. But those don't go what on in the main, the main event. event. It's always the heavyweight right. championship. Riz? What was the main event for the past, what, two WrestleManias, though? Title was matches. It? Title matches. Was it title matches? Or, oh, no, no, no. Was it, the, the, it, was it was the match. streak. No, yeah, Cena was, Miz was, was the... Uh, career. Cena Miz was last still the streak, yeah. wasn't it? The Cena yeah. Miz this last time, but I think the one year it was... The one before that. It, it was, was Taker Michaels. Taker it Michaels. It was Taker Michaels, career versus streak. Mm-hmm. There's no more title. to that. It is the- not the only time. Uh, uh, Bam Bam Bigelow versus uh, Lawrence Taylor was the main event, I think, that year. Was it? I believe so. Because mm. that, was, that, that was the spectacle. Quite frankly. Mm. That's what people tuned in for. No one went, well, no, yeah. Well, I think you're right. You know what? You are right. Yeah, it was the main event. I'm sorry, Lawrence Taylor and Bam Bam Bigelow as opposed to Diesel and Shawn Michaels. You know. That was an incredible match. They were both incredible matches. Don't say anything bad about them. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, exactly. all right, all I'm all I'm really saying is yes, you're right. It's it's whatever match is gonna bring in the most money. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Stop announcing when the matches are gonna be. Cause once you once they pay their money, mm-hmm. they're not shutting it off. But they want them to. I oh, mean, come but on. the no, 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 no. You okay? I it, it, Mike. It, no, this, no, stop. This is wrestling. No, no, no. This is what <laughs> wrestling booking one hundred and one. It, it's just like when you bought for the Brock Lesnar fight, you're not sticking around for those little Carter, little mini Carter fights when that was a knockout in three seconds that they put on. For the most part, you're drinking. You're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. You're not paying attention to the ads that they put up there for the next pay per view. Yep. That's the problem. It's just like it's just like when you book an indie show. The main event you want people to stick it, stick around for. You got Mick Foley in the main event. The, the everybody's sticking around for that, and they're not going home early because it's, yeah. a, it's a Saturday night, and they got to deal what, with their kids. What, sorry. sorry, what it, matches are the main? What matches are the main event for Night of Legends? You mean superstars? No, or, Night, of Night of Legends. Night of Legends. Uh, uh, this it's last usually time, two legends that are you know. Well, it was Val Venus and uh, oh well, never mind. Fab, so. yeah, but, they, yeah. but they have legends. They have so many. Like every other match is a legend in that. So it's not a good example. Uh, no, but what but I'm even, saying is, if if you drop fifty bucks mm-hmm. to buy the pay per view at home, mm-hmm. are you shutting it off before it's over? No, no. Exactly. Throw Roxena. I am a th- through a diva match after Roxena, maybe. <laughs> no, yeah. all I'm saying is you don't have to make it like a mid card match. Mm-hmm. You throw it before the main event. In this uh. case, I would have picked Del Rio Punk because I would have much rather seen the pay per view go out on Punk than 
Cena rocks. You much rather would have been, but the the final image of that pay per view is to make you buy WrestleMania. Exactly. They have three. Mo- they have five months and to make me buy WrestleMania. They have a and year to make you teaser. buy WrestleMania. And you know what? It's not, it's not a difference. They have That's five true. They months. announced this match over a year ago. Mm-hmm. And this is the reminder to the not the people that don't watch guess, wrestling every guess day. Guess who's like, still not buying WrestleMania? <laughs> <laughs> And look who was probably going to buy it anyways. Well, then they failed on that one. But we're that not, no, no, no. It's not a failure. We're not the fucking audience here. <laughs> we exactly. go back to we're right. not the fucking audience. We just happen to watch it. Would we're we, not the million. We're not we the people that put them over them? the millions yeah. mark. We're not the, we're not the target they're going after. Yeah, here. stop getting pissed about it with the way they do things when you're not the people they're trying to please. Oh, yeah. I can get pissed off if I want to get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, sword. <laughs> I will occupy this couch. He's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, let's move no, on. No, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I just wish it wouldn't have been the main event because yeah. there are other matches on the card that deserve to have that spot. Yeah. And, and, and I'm saying, and, and then, the, the, you know, even, the, yeah, you're not going to shut it off, but the order of matches is the order of importance yeah, the, in a, ma- in, in a I, thing. I, I mean, think my thing is when you're going with the order of the main event to the match before the main event, it doesn't make much of a difference. It, put, it would have put a sour taste, I guess, in some people's mouth with the whole rock thing, but people still left on a good note with punk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, main event should have been the divas. <laughs> I'm gonna kick Actually, you in the, the face. Actually, the match was pretty good. <laughs> the that was a pretty, good. Yeah, that was a pretty killer. I mean, let's talk about the rest of the pay per view in general. It was a damn good for all the grief we've been giving WWE for this build. It was a damn good pay per view. It was. I mean, I, I mean, I, I think AJ was in the hangout saying, "I, I apologize, to WWE, for everything I said the last few weeks." <laughs> I don't and, apologize for what I said. I'm just, I just because <laughs> I said they built the whole thing around Brock and Cena, I didn't say it didn't work. mm Hmm. Listen, Just saying. I don't have any real complaints about the match. Mm-hmm. I, I'm honestly, and you guys can start yelling me, yelling at me after I say this, but I'm honestly sick of watching Big Show fight Mark Henry. I'm really? not. Really? Yes. I'm not. Really? This is yes. the second time. I don't care. Me and me and Sorg were yelling. Heard. Me and Sorg were yelling in the Google Hangout because they were freaking chain wrestling at one point. <laughs> I, I it was terrible Chachi. chain wrestling. No, it wasn't. It's, it's really it's, too much. It's two 500-pound guys chain wrestling. <laughs> Mark, How fluid listen, can Mark it Henry? fucking be? <laughs> it was pretty Mark fluid. Henry has been wrestling the big show for pretty much his whole career. Exactly. But whenever, some, whenever they want to put on something ridiculous, they put the big show up against yeah, Mark listen, Henry. They're the here's how WWE guys. works, okay? When Kane's not available to fight Big Show, they go to Undertaker. When Undertaker's not available to fight Big Show, they go to Mark Henry. I, it doesn't mean nope. it doesn't work. You missed a step. You missed a step. Uh, you have to slide in Rey Mysterio. Oh, I'm sorry. Time. Yes, <laughs> yes. I forgot the smallest fucking guy in the company to fight Mark, uh, Big Show. That doesn't, I, I don't, it doesn't mean it's not, not going to be a good match. Listen, oh, that would be a great match, Hornswoggle versus Big Show. <laughs> listen, I'm not disputing the fact that watching Big Show drop an elbow off the top rope was amazing. It was. Okay? But that doesn't carry the whole fucking match. No, and it didn't. The whole fucking I don't think match. it did. Oh. It's still the best big man match <laughs> I've I seen love it when Chachi gets so angry and just hates everything. He's like, I don't, I don't hate chat, everything. Chat wait, wait, wait. I, Look how much in the chat room Matt Mike has took it out. I, yeah, the, oh my god! The, the chat room has gone pretty crazy. Um, no, Mad Mike has gone fucking yeah. crazy. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, a little bit there. <laughs> Listen, Everything and this is cats. my opinion. I have lunchbox and Riz all right, let's, with me. Okay, let's back off of this. I think we've all expressed Someone our opinion on this match. In the chat room, please. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, r- 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 uh, Chachi, Done. Yes. Chachi, thank you. Yes. What did you like about this pay per view? Everything but that match. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not kidding. Um, yeah, yeah. It was probably something they did on SmackDown, and I don't watch SmackDown because I'm usually not home. Uh, but I didn't realize that the Divas match was a lumberjack match. Yeah, I didn't either. Um, I think they announced it. So I mean, that was that was a pleasant surprise. Uh. Uh, Lumber Jill. I'm sorry, Lumber Jill match. And <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be a terrible match. It wasn't. It was a good match. I wish they would have used the Lumber Jills a little bit more. Yeah, it was weird that they really weren't <laughs> used at all. Right. They? They, they never really do. 
I know, Lisa, but and that's a shame. Really do anything at all, so right. Um, it's it's just a reason for to get tits on screen. <laughs> but um, Dolph's match once again. I don't think the guy can wrestle a bad match. No, no. not really, not really ever. Um, so yeah, I mean the Survivor Series match, the traditional Survivor Series match, was good. Very good. So, I mean, uh, uh, let me rephrase that. It was good <laughs> despite Sin Cara not being able to do what Sin Cara is supposed to be able to do. <laughs> Why does he still have a job? Why is he out nine, to, uh, six to ten months uh, with that injury? Who, who is in the back coming so hard over watching Sin Cara in the ring? Whose dick is he sucking? <laughs> Through a mask. Yes. <laughs> Who has a mask fetish backstage that says, you know what? Hey, let's, we got a closet here. You want to you wanna be on this pay-per-view? You know I, love that, I love that during the, after Cara got carted out, Hunico's like, I'm going to dive on Randy Orton. I'm not going to do like the flippy shit, but I'm actually going to hit my fucking die. But, I mean, it, it's bad. I mean, how many pay-per-view moves? We have to watch this guy botch. <laughs> In order for him to get canned. Well, we won't have to watch it for another six to nine months because he's that's how long he's out for. Yeah, I know. At least at least it's not what we were supposing that he would be just replaced again. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, fine. Mad, 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 Mad Mac makes a good point. He sells merch. Lots and lots of merch. Okay, okay. He that's fine. He's somebody another that's why another Rey Mysterio is still there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. I, I didn't see a lot of Sin Cara merch when I was in San Antonio, and that's close to Mexico. But you know what? Everybody's already got their wrestling mask from all the regular wrestling matches that happen down there. That's fine. Come on. That's fine. You know what? And I just want to say, uh, I don't know how I feel about Cole Cabana selling wrestling masks at at just any show, Uh, especially when I saw a sweaty snatch mask in the the audience on some little kid. That was really (laughs) weird. That's fine. That was really (laughs) weird. But I mean, that's fine. Replace him. Throw another small little jumping bean Mexican guy under the mask and let him bounce around the ring correctly. (laughs) They, they have been collecting those lately. I know. Yeah, I mean, Rey Mysterio was able to do it consistently well, for a while. <laughs> they gotta find another Mexican that can bounce around the ring without fucking hurting himself There's every so time he many jumps. Mexicans. There are a lot of Mexicans. Go out and, and find the one that'll jump. And it's super annoying. I've said this before. When he, he was just Mystico, really he was fine. You didn't hear, I mean, WWE didn't hire him because he fucking botched in every match. No, they hired him because he had a great reputation. Mm-hmm. And now he comes to WWE and can't perform. What the fuck is going on? It's the lights. <laughs> it's the lights. It's the fucking lights. Every time he wears the white, he gets injured. <sighs> Maybe they gave him or a please. shitty mask. What's that, Riz? Either gets injured, like last last uh, Sunday, Money the, or, yeah. he gets in, or he gets out. Because of drugs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Speaking of drugs. Mm-hmm. The truth shall the not truth. set me free. Puff, puff, give. <laughs> all right, now explain your transition. <laughs> yeah, because <Okay. laughs> yeah, all you did. That's okay. horrible. Because you really haven't said anything. Yeah, that was speaking of drugs. <laughs> Next sir. topic. Our, our truth has been suspended. <laughs> Uh, during the wellness policy, uh, presumably because of uh, the synthetic marijuana, because there was a rumor going around that people were a little irate backstage over Evan Bourne's suspension because someone else was caught with him smoking the marijuana uh, that was in the main event for Survivor Series. Yeah. <laughs> and we kind of It's all a little Jimmy smoke. We kind of supposed this the other night, especially after how it went down so quickly Monday night. Yeah. Um, Without a whole lot of explanation or build. And then what do you say about WWE holding off their punishment uh, until after a big storyline thing like this? Yeah. Well, when did Bourne get suspended? Like two, like three weeks ago. ago. No, two, three weeks ago. I yeah. think the Survivor Series match was already announced. Yeah, so in a way, yeah. So in a way I they're don't already like that. building to it. They had their plan, as you know. I can understand that, but um, but no, I don't. It's not I'm right. afraid. I'm afraid that's going because they've they've abruptly changed plans because of something like that. 
You yeah. know, I mean, he went to Survivor Series. He got the payday for for Survivor Series, and now he just kind of got, you know, kicked out the way. So, well, maybe, well you know what? Yeah, no, I don't think it was a pay thing. Uh, payday, no, yes, no, no, I no, guess. No, no, no. It's, I mean, a, it's a, it looks bad to change the main event like that. Even yeah, if it is just our truth. No, I mean, it, especially it's, when it's John Cena and The Rock. Exactly. You know, exactly. All the build they had to that match. They, they don't want to. It's going to be up. hard for them to take somebody out of that match. Exactly. exactly. It, it's WWE looking out for their payday. Yeah. Exactly. So it's their policy is don't do drugs or we'll suspend you unless you're bringing in a lot of money really soon. Uh, then, then we'll uh, hold off uh, on it. And, 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 then, and, and, and then it broke up. The best thing going for our truth teaming with Miz <laughs> and. Uh, let's see what happens to our truth after he comes back from the suspension. Because you got to. Why does he need to come back? A well, back to the mid card. Yeah, you, well, he's gonna come back, and he's gonna build well, because one, he's under contract, and uh, he's just gonna be. There's lots the of people bad, under contract truth. that aren't. He's just he's, gonna, he's, oh, exactly. he's gonna be the new Jack. Exactly. Yeah, he's gonna be Look. on the mid card, getting beat up by Hornswoggle. <laughs> That's what's going to happen to teaming with our, Teaming with The Miz was the best possible thing for our truth It was. And teaming with our truth was the worst thing for The Miz. You think so? You think so? I yeah. think it was terrible. Come on. I, don't, I don't you remember when The worse. Miz... Fuck, we were just talking about how he held the world title for how long? He was fantastic, and then he's back to fucking sucking our truth's dick. <laughs> no, I, better. I, he's I, better I, than I that. agree with you. I I'm sorry. Our truth is the catcher in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I you're think, right. But was, getting your dick sucked by our truth? Come on. <laughs> I, I he does have the lips. Bad. Whoa, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like what? What'd what What? I say? I think it was bad, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't going to ruin the Miz's career, but it just wasn't doing anything for him. True. I think there is the there is there is there, there is, is would be is great. He's a, he's good in the main in the title hunt in the main event picture. He's good with you know uh, put him as a singles competitor. That's where he shines. Yeah, you know everybody can't be on top for a while. He's got to go. I, I agree. There is it. There is. It. There is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hey uh, DJ Larchbox. Uh, yes. Do you like your wrestlers, uh, female wrestlers, bottom heavy? <laughs> bottom heavy. <laughs> Oh dear, I don't know what that means at all, but sure. <laughs> In the Wu-Tang. According to a report, I, I didn't know this, apparently Sean Waltman, X-Pac, is a uh, talent uh, acquisitions person oh, for oh WWE. God. Did, did, he, did he sign Zingar? <laughs> <laughs> he's currently, he's currently a, a talent scout. Uh, he's revealed that the WWE was not interested in w, or AAA star Fabi Apache. Here's a picture of her right oh, here. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he just told PW Torch uh, she's the best female worker I've seen in maybe the last 10 years. It's just that she's a little bottom heavy like a lot of the girls down in Mexico. That Whoa. doesn't that might be racist. Uh, that doesn't fit into the look of WWE is looking for the Divas champion, unfortunately. In terms of in-ring talent, she can go uh, with Apparently anyone. that's bottom heavy. Okay. Well, I can see that, you know. Um, she's she got a booty. Know, but... Yeah, the booty girls, basically. She's he's not like she's not like supermodel ish, and you look at a lot of the girls on uh, like the WSU pay per view that I was just going on. I mean, they're not you know diva. They're, they're not, they, booty girls. You <laughs> wouldn't you don't wouldn't see them on the front page of Maxim necessarily. And I think the only re reason Karma Awesome Kong's in there is because she's uh, developed such a reputation uh, that yes, they can pass she has it up, reputation know? with my balls. I knew that was coming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're never going to be a respectable show ever. <laughs> Are we, I didn't know we were trying to be. <laughs> when, when did this happen? Um, yeah. But I don't know. What do you think? You think that's that that's you know? Does that mean like a Sarah Del Rey will never be in the WWE because of something like this? I mean, is this uh, something holding down the talent in the Divas division versus uh, say the Knockouts? I mean, I get it. I they they have an image, and you know, whatever. It's. It's fine, I guess, but... <laughs> oh, he's no. dying, he's dying. Okay, we'll take over. No, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, fine. Th I'm good, Riz? I'm solid. Go ahead, Riz. No, go ahead, Russell fan. The, the, I, I won't the, step on you. They're going to even oh, sign her for the knockouts. I mean, I just don't see the point. Mm -hmm. I right. wish people would just sign people for a reason. For their mind and not their bodies. Uh, Riz, what do you think? Riz? He's frozen. He's dead. He might be frozen. 
LB, I know you have an opinion. <laughs> nope. Maybe I lost yep. him. We got it. Wheel? Oh, okay. hi, Riz. Uh, yeah, what the audio is crazy tonight. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. Riz, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think Sarah Del Rey, the, the example you gave, mm-hmm. will be in the WWE someday because of what you said, what we said about karma. Okay. Because she has that name factor to it because oh, not, not so many people like karma, no karma, well, not so many people know Sarah Del Rey was what I'm trying to say, like. Everyone knows karma. Well, but they're starting she to. Has, but she still has that name factor to her. Sarah Del Rey's been building on her name. She's been kind of been a big deal for a long time now in the Indies. Mm-hmm. So who's to say that WWE won't sign her, you know? Sorry for the music. <laughs> okay, then. All right. Sorry yeah. about that. I was just okay. showing some Del Rey right. footage there. Um, but yeah, I... I I mean, WWE obviously wants wants uh, girls that that can wrestle, but that they can put on the cover of Maxim. Which you know, how many girls in there don't fit into that? You know, and 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 even if they are, there there's somebody like uh, uh, Tra- uh, I'm not Tracy, um, uh, Beth Phoenix and uh, and uh, Nightheart. Yeah, but they're starting to go away from. I mean, they're starting to build. Like they can't do the whole Playboy models anymore. Mm-hmm. They can't be completely sexy because you know they're PG now. Uh, yes and wow, no. Wow, she just broke that board with her head. Yes and no. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, but really, is there much difference between this and the, uh, you know, the fabled uh, WWE look of, uh, of uh, you know, the jacked up guys or, or, or giants in WWE? Sure. I think, yeah. But, I mean, they have, like you said, they have a good mix, I think, now. <laughs> they have the ones like Beth, Natty. <laughs> what? Don't, Sorry, no, I'm don't worry about Chachi. it. Something bad almost happened to the camera. <laughs> just don't, just uh, just don't worry about this happening right Carry here. On. <laughs> oh, <God>. Cameraman <laughs> down. Behind the curtain. <laughs> Cameraman <laughs> down. Die. I, okay. I think, I think WWE is a good mix now of like you know a different mix of girls because you mentioned Beth and Addy, but you also have ones like girls. You you also have ones like Tamina. Uh, even mm-hmm. I, I would say even Caitlyn's not exactly the model figure. She's like, getting there. She's very but no, but she's built though. Yeah, she's very well built. So I mean, they they have a good mix. They understand they all can't be all skinny and you know whatever. Yeah, I mean you got Beth and you got Natty. I mean they're two big boned girls. So but they can work. She's <laughs> calling big bones. And 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 um. And I think Beth's gotten more more built uh, ever since because I mean even with her interview on uh, Cole Cabana's podcast she was talking about how she was trying to be one of the other divas and then realized she needs to be a little more herself. Uh, but she got in, you know, on the auspices probably of being another diva, uh, but was able to grow it out from there. You know? Yeah, and 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 ninety nine heart. She's she's a nine heart. You know, she's already got the name. They love. Yeah, she you know? she was born with the butt. That comes yeah, exactly. included in the uh, the genes. It's got a dad's body. Yeah, that's oh, really God. weird because I find there's always years and ever. Wow. Beard. Yeah. So uh, did I just hear you say that? She <laughs> does, but it's a uh, elsewhere. Jim Jim Neidhart had a pretty good to dunk dunk. Um. Whoa. Okay. And tweets. I can't argue with that. <laughs> wow. Well, I can't. Yeah. I can't argue with that because I like Tamina. Tamina. Yeah. Yeah. There you I, go. I said it. What's wrong with Tamina? Nothing. Exotic. Nothing wrong with Tamina. Mm-mm. Exotic. All right. Um, what else is going? You know, Charlie we Haas. Your dad. Charlie She's Haas is out there saying that ROH Wrestling TV uh, last week has uh, over a million people watching in the United States. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty <laughs> tremendous number, I think, uh, for for. Either the audio went out or nobody has anything to say about Charlie yes. Haas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one has anything to we, say about Nobody Charlie has Haas. anything to say. We're here, LB. We're here. Hey, hey guys. There he is. <laughs> I got <Mike> scared. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, I mean, it, what is TNA pulling in? They, they're pulling in, what, just over a million? Just a little bit over a million. Over, so, so Ring of Honor is really uh, already nipping at the heels of TNA with this national deal. Yep. Yeah, and that's all we got to say about that. Yep. Yep. Are we pulling for it? It's not it? really. It's not really that 
big of a deal because TNA is... And it's not that much of a surprise. Yeah. I think we, we even said this before, that ROH was going to surpass TNA in about a year. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. it hasn't even been a year yet, and they're already at one million viewers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, and TNA is declining. They're not everywhere. But you got to think, they're not everywhere. But, but they're, they're in a good amount of places. They're syndicated over the air, meaning more people have a chance in those areas to get them over Spike TV. Because Spike right. TV is cable. So there's a really good opportunity. And it's, and it's really good that this is getting over. You know, it's more accessible. How many people wanted to see the HD net show? And how many people do, do a million people even subscribe to HD net at this point? Because it's really a niche thing. And I, it's I there. never did. Huh? I never did. You yeah, never did. Me either. I, I no. did. And just because Sorry. just because I had a decent deal on my dish. dish that means one out of six people. Yeah, subscribe to <laughs> HDNet. So if you're no. taking a poll of the Mayhem show, we are the ninety nine percent. I'm the one percent. Yes, shit, you are going to yes. occupy my couch. I told you. Uh, <laughs> Hell no, I won't go. Just don't turn the hose on Chachi. Oh, turn it on him. <laughs> no, turn, her, turn the hose the wet, on Chachi. He loved the hose. Let's have a wet Chachi contest. You can't. No, you can't. You're not allowed to get me wet, and you're not allowed to feed me after midnight. Oh, you don't want to see that. Happens. You don't want to see that. That's what we need to do. Chachi versus Scott Bay on a wet Chachi contest. Oh, jeez. So, hey, WWE. I would win. He's like 55. <laughs> and my next figure. And pregnant. Speaking of, speaking of uh, 55 and wet, um, I saw uh, Whoa. Wait, no. Let him finish this transition. I, 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 I want to see how this goes. Do it. Do it. I saw... <laughs> <laughs> it might be a letdown. Do it, roll it. I saw something with Steve Gutenberg in it the other night, and holy shit, he looks fantastic. <laughs> wow. Goose? Nothing to do with uh, wrestling. Wow. Goose? Man, too young to get it. Riz, possibly old enough to get it. I think everybody else on the show is going to get that. Uh, listeners, if you're under the age of Goose what? Hot. Oh, no. We gotta me- well, we got to mention what Mad Mike brought up in the chat room. That's That's kind of news this week. No, we're not talking no, about that. I don't give a shit. About that. It. I don't no, care no, about people no, drop no, that are so no. fucking hey. pathetic with their lives that they drop out of WWE sponsored <laughs> hit rehab. Stop doing that, Chachi. Don't drop yeah, the soap, there. big homie. Was, man, it was uh, the mouthwash, man. Right? Anyways, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about this thing that uh don't like drop the fan. soap, big homie. Are, are, wait, are we not talking about Steve Gutenberg anymore? No, no. no. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. No, 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 no. I'll talk about tell Steve Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Yeah. Tell me who oh, Steve Gutenberg is. Uh, you don't know who Steve Gutenberg is. It's not, yes, I'm a fetus. It's but we, you. Can, do we have to go over this it's again? Not, Who's Steve Gutenberg? No, go Steve look Academy. it up. We're done. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what? No more. What's happening? What's oh, going wow. on? Oh, wow. Oh, what? Steve Gutenberg. Steve go Gutenberg. Go follow Cranky Vince. Um... Because he's super duper funny. He is. He is pretty funny. Uh, hey, no, uh, Twitter. Yes, Re- uh, Russell fan uh, sent this to me uh, about uh, WWE's Twitter invasion at Survivor Series. First of all, they have this WWE interaction. I keep wanting to call it WWE inaction for some reason. Um, <laughs> maybe that's more appropriate. I don't know. Uh, so it, it's if you just go click social on our site. It's easy to get to. It's got their superstar chat, Twitter, Facebook, WWE chat, which I don't know the difference because sometimes the Facebook looks like everything else except Twitter. Um, yeah. But yeah. So you have this, and it's interesting to watch during the show, uh, other than doing your own WWE kind of search on whatever client you're using. Uh, <laughs> and it's not, I, I, they have to filter this. They have got to be filtering this at, in some fashion. I mean, there's no swear words or anything, and we all know, you know, watching... WWE, it's almost impossible not to do. Um, but uh, again, according to this article, uh, <laughs> they broke down a little bit how me- how often Twitter was mentioned. It's like a game how much stuff is getting uh, trending on, on Twitter these days, isn't it, guys? Um, and what, what site is this, WrestleFan? EW, E-Wrestling? Yeah, e- E-Wrestling News. E-WrestlingNews.com. Uh, he, he says he actually counted the Ryan Clark over there says he actually counted the Twitter references last night. Now, what constituted Twitter reference here are the following. Any mention from commenters of tweets, Twitter hashtags or wrestlers, uh, Twitter names. By the way, I noticed the tweet Twitter names on everybody's title uh, when they come to the ring now. Uh, yeah. Twitter names on Titan Tron graphics, identifying wrestlers. OK, I just spoiled myself on screen graphics during matches. Uh, 
what wasn't counted was well what lazy or rest okay, this doesn't make any sense anyways uh now remember that the show is about 170 minutes long the number of twitter references 47 that equates to someone mentioning Twitter every three minutes and 36 seconds over the course of the show that fans paid for. Uh, I don't know if that's much of an argument. Why are we worried about Twitter being mentioned on a show that somebody paid for? It's not like the commercials. That, that, that no, that's not, that's not, the, that's that's not, not even the a issue. problem. I'm just issue. saying it's kind of Aren't we kind of doing that right now? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Pay for the hey, app. I don't know. At at Sword, Twitter I don't lot. know. At Riz IUP. Yeah. Uh, what do you think uh, what, what is it? At Chachi says. Of Chachi says dot net. Oh, uh, if uh, Zack Ryder gets his uh, U.S. Championship title match, yeah, I'm yeah, challenging him for the internet title. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Or can we have a tournament amongst the rest of us uh, wrestling podcasters for the internet championship? No, exactly. No? Yeah. no, I'll petition it if I have to. It'll be the most signed petition of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Wait, well, what are we Dolph Ziggler? Now? Look he, on his like his jacket when he comes out. Hashtag heel. Is right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, it was on his tights too. Yeah, yeah. So, the hashtag on his so tights. So Twitter has officially taken over wrestling, and even uh, it's all over TNA too. They have uh, stuff going on at the bomb. Th- Who th- cares the about impact. TNA? Right, well, hold on, <laughs> jeez, we gotta we gotta watch this knee jerk reaction to TNA guys. I mean, you're gonna think we're haters or something. You That's know? true. I, I, mean, I do want the belt, the replica belt, still. That's the only thing I like about it's TNA. It's a nice-looking belt. It's the only nice-looking belt they have right now. Um, yep. Because, hey, Wildcat belts, they're the ones that did it. So, but, um, Friends of the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Oh, in comparison, they mentioned Facebook three times, and Michael Cole, Michael Cole said vintage twice, according to this article. So, <laughs> uh, Why not? Hey, at Why least not? vintage is getting getting toned down for tweets. Uh. Uh, but I don't know. It, 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 the commentary's a bit. Did you just come, wrestle fan? What was that? <laughs> no, that was the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think of this whole uh, tweeting aspect? Uh, thanks uh, to 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 Monday Night Raw for the Survivor Series and everything like that. I think it's great. It's- I think they are uh, a couple years too late. Yeah, I, I was going to say it's a good idea. I mean, and I don't think it's good having Michael Cole and like Booker T sitting next to each other reading this stuff because if they are not like taking out the bad things, you can hear them snickering at some of the things said off of there and the camera points them. They're like, Oh yeah, this, this comment was great. And they're looking at each other like shit. We got caught. (laughs) Yeah. And, um, yeah, they they did seem to go off the rails with it a little bit, but my issue was with, uh, Michael Cole, like, He's, oh, that was a vintage tweet by Sorgatron. <laughs> <laughs> it was sent out five Ooh. minutes ago. Uh, but no, I mean, this guy is single-handedly promoting the social media efforts and Twitter and everything, and then tearing down people tweeting and Twitter in general and internet fans that like Daniel Bryan. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, does anybody else see a problem with that and mixed signals? No, I, I caught it, too. I'm like, what the hell? You're, you're sending mixed messages. <laughs> You're like, hey, guess what's trending on Twitter? It's this, this, and this. Oh, God, the internet people love this Daniel Bryan. What the hell, you know? I mean, that's it's just... Well, Daniel Bryan's going to bury you. I mean, I get you <laughs> on the heel and everything like that. But, you know, you can't, you can't, you know, be towing the company line and then tearing it down the next minute, especially if you're that first guy that's going to be doing it it's one thing if michael cole was doing or talking about twitter or maybe jerry lawler is the one that talks about twitter all night and then then michael cole is the one that tears it down but there's just there's there's no division of that and uh and i think there's a problem with that so what sorg what sorg is trying to say michael cole is stop it <laughs> all, all of bad. them stop it. Well, we've bad been saying Michael that to Michael Cole for a long all, time. All of, no, all of them stop it. Michael Cole, stop being Michael Cole. Booker T, <laughs> for the love of God, please stop talk English. And Jerry Lawler, the only complaint about you is stop making fun of, or stop saying that, oh, Vicky Guerrero's shirt doesn't fit her. She needs to fit one in her size. It's not a joke. It's just fucking rude. <laughs> Jerry Lawler, stop being rude. That's not nice. Wrestle fan gets to cry. Stop That's doing awesome. what you've been doing for thirty years. Yeah, Wrestle fan has a crush on the cougar. Come on, I have a crush on her, but don't like. Yeah, you kind no, of do. No, I, I, I have a crush think, on her. I, th- I think she's hot. Okay, but <laughs> I don't have a crush, but I think she's hot. <laughs> 
That's Look, I said, I said it a while back, and you know, I, I, this time I have to agree with WrestleFan. Uh, Vicky Guerrero gives me an erection that would stop a car. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, okay, it was good when the, remember when the, can I, remember when Jerry Lawler and John Cena were like d- going back and forth with like making like you're so fat jokes. Yeah, like, that's a, those are jokes. Those are funny. You saying, oh, that's a nice shirt on Vicky Guerrero. I just hope well, she would pick is, one in her size. The problem that's is not a joke. The problem is they've been doing these jokes for for over a year, and I and they're, they're prodding him. Hey, say something about her weight in his headphones, and he's like, oh, God, that shirt doesn't fit. You know, I mean, there's <laughs> only, I mean, even Jerry Lawler has to have only so much fat joke material. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I mean, uh, you know, I don't care how long he's it's been all, in the wrestling all, business. Right, there's only all so fat, many Jerry fat Lawler's jokes. All fat jokes in tits. And WWE doesn't have tits anymore. Yeah, because they fire yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that they can't show. Like, so on that note, guys, I I, I want to wrap the show with something a little different. I think we do this every year about this time. I can never remember. Uh, so instead of what did you learn this week, I want to know what all of you in the chat room here on the show, and I think we have a few tweets about it too. What are you thankful for in this past year in the world of uh-huh. wrestling? I had a good what we learned, but okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that sucks. Sucks to be you, bitch. <laughs> well, <laughs> slip that in there, that's fine as well. Uh, so please let me know. And of course, uh, uh, we, uh, one of our emails uh, already uh, did this a little bit. So uh, let's go around the horn. And uh, oh, WrestleFan. Oh, me. Yeah. What are you thankful <laughs> for in the world, the entire world of wrestling, of professional wrestling? Oh, God. Um, I'm thankful. That every Tuesday night I can sit here in front of my little computer box with you know the camera that All keeps staring at me, to and I can talk, suck up. and I can rant, and I can laugh, and I can joke, and I can be happy Your and be up. sad. And shut the fuck up! Don't make me turn you down again. <laughs> you cannot boycott this. <laughs> I, I will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just did. Uh, but yeah, Mayhem Show is awesome, and that's what I'm thankful for. There you go. And DJ Lunchbox, what are you thankful for? Oh, I'm thankful uh, that wrestling continues to uh, contradict itself and do things that are both brilliant and baffling because uh, every fuck up. Every every screw up, every um, just strange activity by both the management and the wrestlers, and every brilliant maneuver, every every great match, it provides nothing but pure content um, for uh, for this show right here for two hours every single week. Wrestling does enough weird shit for us <laughs> to sit here and talk about it. So thank you, wrestling. Thank you for just being strange. Thank you for being weird. Thank you for being you. Thank you <laughs> exactly. for being friends. Yeah. Sorg! Yes! What are you thankful for in wrestling? Uh, I, I'm i thankful. I'm thankful uh, for... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm thankful for my opportunity to get uh, up close and personal with wrestling, with uh, not, uh, not getting hurt. Um... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm forever thankful for uh, uh, you know, being able to do have the opportunities to film the wrestling, be it RWA, IWC, uh, some fun promos in the back that I don't know if you saw. I tweeted a little bit ago. Um, You're a star. I'm, oh, no, me? I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, did, I, did, I did get a hey, yay <laughs> cameraman uh, this weekend, so that's always fun. Um, uh, from, from guys that had a championship belt. Hi, Harley and Davidson. Uh, or, and or <laughs> Davidson. I don't know which one you were. Um Hmm. But uh, <laughs> that's a weird name. But no, no, seriously, like it, it's really, I, it, it's consistently really cool to be like close and personal with something that I've enjoyed from afar for so long. Uh, and it's another year of that, and being able to do this show and talking to the, the fantastic people we talk to on the show and fans of the show, and I'm consistently hearing you know new voices and and thoughts. Uh, you know, all you guys. Sork th- hears voices in his head. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and all you guys all you guys and the guys stepping up uh of course riz and wheels and and bobby they're here uh, about every other week at least uh and uh and new guys in chat room like like zero and screwdriver 
and uh, and other people stopping in and out, uh, and, and all your emailers. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I, I love that we have this community, and, uh, and and it continues to grow. And holy shit, it's almost six years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> holy shit. Yep. <laughs> My Tuesdays have shit. been booked for six years. So um, and stay tuned for maybe some plans <coughs> coming around the anniversary <coughs> show. Hopefully, there's no fucking blizzard this time. Yeah, really, right? <laughs> I don't even know I can get the spot again because of the blizzard. Anyways, let's roll around since he's back. The I'm Riz. Back. <laughs> back. The internet cannot keep you down. No, they cannot. But um, going back to what you guys said, I'm thankful for actually having something to do on a Tuesday night. <laughs> 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 Instead of playing, you know, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warcraft or... Mortal Kombat, or <laughs> even I just picked wow. up the WWE 12 game. He just yeah. combined like three different he games. Did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you play them all at the same time. Sir. I am Call of Duty, Modern, Modern Warcraft. Warcraft. Is it Modern Warcraft? Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> but anyways, I'm I'm thankful for being here with you guys talking about something that we all love, mm. and that well, kind of <laughs> <laughs> some <laughs> more than others, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Wheels, what are you thankful for in the world of wrestling? Well, um, you said most of it, Sword, but I'll reiterate a lot of what you said. I am thankful for being involved with the world of wrestling, not only from going from the seats to working music and being up close and personal with the wrestlers and talent out there. You learn so much. And there's things you sometimes don't want to know, <laughs> mm-hmm. but but it's but I appreciate more and more what they do, knowing what they go through, being behind the scenes, and here on Tuesdays to uh, share our, my thoughts on the wrestling in general, uh, if it's RWA, IWC, Ring of Honor, WWE. I mean. We have a group of guys here, and sometimes gals, if we don't chase them away, that we voice our opinions on wrestling, and it's great to be able to do that instead of just sitting around playing Warcraft World, whatever Riz wanted to talk Mod- about. Mo- modern <laughs> Modern Warcraft. Yes, Modern yes, Warcraft. Yes, yes. Uh, WWE Call. It's the WWE-, WWE Call of Duty, and ah, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, don't give me any ideas. Uh, WWE, the WWE you, Skyrim, you. modern Warcraft. Mash. Mm-hmm. Yes. Facts. They'll come up with a pay per view like that. Modern, modern Warcraft, Skyrim Combat. Sword. Revelations. <laughs> Three. I'm thankful for knowing all you guys and being here for the six years that you guys have been running. And it's a wonderful thing. Uh, what else? Excellent. And from the chat room, Mike is Sonic. Thankful. What? I'm just, I'm just naming oh. stuff now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mike's thankful for Velvet Sky, Pipe Bombs, and the Mayhemers. So, and nobody else really chimed in. What's going on in this? Because Mad Mike's the only one here, I think. But, uh, right. Silent Ninja is viewing, ninja. but wow. he's, he's silent. He's silent. He's silent. He's so. a silent ninja. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what? Go- what? Oh, Wait a minute. Oh, Chachi, Chachi, what, did you, Chachi, what, what are, are you thankful, thankful no, for? You know what? I was going to be thankful for all you guys and getting to come on Tuesday nights and hang is out. He about, is he about with to you? walk off. But you know what? Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't thankful for shit anymore. You know what? The only one I don't mind right now is probably Mad Mike who's making fun of me in the chat room anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you guys. No, fuck what Chachi has to say. <laughs> No, uh, uh, no. Honestly, coming here on Tuesday night, talking to you guys, hanging out with you guys, uh, despite the amount of yelling and screaming and telling <laughs> wrestle fan to shut the fuck up, fetus, or to shut your fetus mouth. Uh, it, it, or it's, spin mouth. It, it's all. We get it. It's all. Shut your mouth. My God, you fucking fetus! Let me finish. <laughs> God. <laughs> You wouldn't even let me finish. I tried to get through it nicely, and you interrupt me. That was Riz, goddammit. You fucking it. Fetus. It's already that Calm he it down. Like Calm it down. Too. Calm it down. But, no, I mean, it's all out of love and, and respect and fun. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in your fucking infant face. <laughs> and you know what else I'm thankful for this year? Love. CM Punk. Yeah. I, am I think that's, we can all agree on that. 
thankful for CM Punk. Tremendous. Now, did I miss anyone? I'd marry him if he had a vagina. But now you ask if you miss anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I'm out of here. I quit. <laughs> I quit. All right. Guess who's not coming to the rest Bye. of the Christmas show? Good. So, hey, it's getting that. Of course, we're thankful, and it's the holiday season, and we're going to be doing something different so we can get a couple weeks off from the show. Ah, wrestling Yay. sucks about late hey, winter break. Right. You're welcome. Winter break. Yeah, <laughs> somebody decided that he wants a longer v- Christmas vacation. Touchy. Touchy. <laughs> Tachi. Tachi. Oh, no, you can blame me. It's all my fault. Yeah, yeah. How many? Yeah, are so Tachi, We're going to at least take two weeks off from our regular scheduled program, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get a show. Uh, which oh, means... you're going to get a fucking show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to get a motherfucking show. I'm a strip. Whoa, whoa. Uh, there will be a show. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, so, uh, so here we're doing two things, two initiatives, guys. Uh, we have, of course, the usual best of shows. Please submit to uh, Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. Good times. Good times. And uh, let us know what were your favorite moments. You don't need everything, but please tell us your favorite moment. Good if times. You, if you can show, tell us what episode it was from. Oh, and whoa. if you're really awesome. If you're really awesome, you'll give me a time in that episode because I'm going to look for it. <laughs> hey, that uh, will help. And that will give you a better chance of getting it in, but it's not required, of course. If something say, oh, hey, we remember that too, we'll go look for it. It won't be hard. But uh, we will do our best to do that. Do you have something about the best of there, Chachi? I do. Okay. Um, when you're editing this episode, mark down <laughs> my uh, my little my tirade that just happened because that's my new favorite <laughs> moment from this year. I can't. Um, somebody put in the show notes, please. Every somebody, somebody out there, you're put gonna that in the show have notes. is you walking out. Yeah, I know. Or yelling. <laughs> I know. We'll have a montage of all the times Every you episode. walked out. Jeez. Um, but yeah, go do that. Again, good times at wrestling mayhem We good also time. are planning a Christmas episode. The details to come soon. Uh, tentatively, though. Tentatively, though, I, what were we saying? December sixteenth. It's that Friday. Uh, I don't have a December sixteenth. What? 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 I don't know. What are you doing? I got shut the... up. Your penis. What the fuck is that? Your infant mouth. Holy shit! Uh, but I... the fuck is that? Get tabs. Get tabs. <laughs> is that what we're doing? No, that's not what we're doing. Oh, but no, Christmas episode, a lot of stuff going on there. We'll probably involve drinking. It'll be on that Friday night, Get I believe, the 16th. Uh, but hey, shit. go uh, drop us a phone. Oh, uh, Good times. Email us oh, for shit. anything else. Good times. 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 Good Support your car. Uh, They're cool. They're cool. Uh, we have an app. We have an app. Guys, thank you very much. This has been the Mayhem. I'm sorry for the Mayhem Nation. We'll see you guys next week. Good times. Good times. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.